There's nothing like chilling with my girls. Just me and my divas taking over the world. What's up, Devos? What's up, everybody? Y'all already know what time it is, so I'm going to just say this. I hope you all are having, like, an amazing, great, super great day. You know what I'm saying? I hope you all are having a really great day. Me, myself, girl, I'm chilling. You already know what time it is. When y'all seen that thumbnail, but for all some realness, listen, it's about to get hot outside. We got to look cute. We got to look cute regardless of the weather. But I'm just saying... Have positive vibes, positive attitude. You know what I'm saying? Life is short. Enjoy it. So that's why I'm wishing all of you guys a beautiful, amazing week, month, year, whatever. Just put a smile on your face. You know what I'm saying? Because you woke up today and that is a blessing. So I hope you all are having like a really great day. Today is my first wig slay. Okay. Y'all already know what time it is. I said when y'all see that thumbnail, this is one of my favorite companies. And I tell y'all this all the time. Y'all probably be feeling like I'm a cheerleader for my first wigs or RPG show or RPG show outlet. But I mean, I'm, you know what? I'm like a fan. I'm a fan. Okay. I'm a fan girl. Okay. I'm a, I'm a groupie for that wig site. I'm a groupie. I'm a fan for them. Okay. They have like the best of the best of the best of the best. Best, the best, the best, the best, the best lace front wigs, girl. When I tell y'all, y'all don't have to do too much, girl, you ain't really got to do nothing but cut the lace off and put that bad boy on. So today's video is going to be one of those slays, because you already know, when it comes to my first wigs, they come through. If you are a beginner, you ain't never worn no wigs, then this is the perfect website for you to get a lace front wig. All the work is done for you. They deep bleach it. There are several options that you can choose from. You know what I'm saying? The hairline is natural and thins out, so you're good to go. The hair is styled. You're ready to wear it. You know, friendly, by all means. And you ain't even got to, you know, glue or hairspray them down. But, you know, for me, I need some sobers, and I'm definitely going to you know press those down but girl yes look i got on a my first wigs bonnet i'm coming through i put on my little ooh bahama vibes you know tropical vibes so the wig that i got today is a yaki i think they want to call it a bob but this is a 13 by 4 lace front i wanted to answer this particular question do i prefer a 13 by 4 or a 13 by 6 or a 13 by 6 and a half so for me I, it doesn't really matter to be honest you know what I'm saying? It doesn't really matter because it just doesn't really matter to me as long as the quality is bomb. But I will say this. I'm not really a big stickler. I'm, I like, I really don't need my part to be all the way back here. I don't mind if my part is four inches in length. That's fine for me. Four inches parting space is decent. I have more 13 by four lace frontals than I do 13 by sixes. And for one, a 13 by four lace frontal on any website is a lot more cheaper in price versus the 13 by six. Now, my first wigs, they have 13 by fours and they also have 13 by six. It really isn't a big difference versus the 13 by four versus the 13 by six, except for two little inches, which go back. You know what I'm saying? So for me, it doesn't really matter, but coin wise, the 13 by fours are definitely a lot. They're like more cheaper in price, not in quality, but the value is less. So this is my new lace frontal, which is a 13 by four. And it's already been bleached. It's already have a natural hairline. It has combs and it has their signature elastic band. You have plenty of parting space in this circumference. You're still gonna get 13 inches all around. You're gonna get the same amount on the sides, but the middle would probably mean the most to you. If you like a deep all the way back part in the middle, then I guess you would want a 13 by six. But if you're not really too concerned with it and you don't mind having a four inch part, then by all means, get you a 13 by four. And this is their Yaki hair. And what I tell y'all about Yaki hair, you don't really see it in stock a lot on many websites, but RPG show, My First Wigs, they always have it available on their website. So if you're into Yaki, which like me, I love Yaki hair, then I love kinky hair. I like that really like textured hair, you know what I'm saying? And then I'm gonna show you another wig that I also have by uh, My First Wigs, which is my other Yaki bob. This one is a 13 by six. Only difference is there's just a couple more inches of lace on this one right here, going towards the back versus this one. This is the 13 by four and this is the 13 by six. And unfortunately the lace isn't cut off of this one yet, but you can see that it is where the hairline is at. It's just a little bit shorter in lengthwise, but honestly, 
the 13 by fours are a lot more affordable to people. So I do think that a lot of people buy the fours versus the six. Also, I'm not one to have a very long part. I don't really like my parts to be six inches. So I really kind of do stop at four. So 13 by four for me is just fine. You know what I'm saying? I would definitely rock a 13 by four. Plus, like I said, it saves you some coins, girl. Okay. ladies so here's the fun part i'm going to be using my serrated and scalloped scissors for the cutting of the lace as you guys can see it has like these jagged type edges and i'm going to just show you an example on a stop card that i have here this is what the serrated edges look like it's more like like a jigsaw a saw type of finish okay now i prefer to use the scallop ones instead now i'm just showing you the serrated side again uh, and also i just just showed you the uh, scallop edges now here's my number one main tip this is for those units that you see that come pre-cut lace already they actually use some pink and sheer scissors to cut that lace like that wavy pattern the scissors that you want to get are called the scalloped pink and shears they are the scallop. There are two different types, I do believe. I know there are the serrated edges, which gives you more like a saw appearance cut. And then there is the scallop. The scallop is that wavy type of pattern. Some, some, some places do call it a wavy pattern, but it is called a scallop. And the size that you want to get of the, the scissors are 18 millimeter. Now, the ones that I were using were a five millimeter. They were small, but you want to get an 18 millimeter. I did order a pair of 18 millimeters from Amazon. And I did show the cut of that in my RPG show wig that will be posted up after this video. But if you want that pre-cut lace and you want that wavy type of pattern, my suggestion is to get a scalloped pair of pink and sheer scissors and you want to get an 18 millimeter the smaller the millimeter the smaller the cut and an 18 millimeter is perfect nothing above that nothing below that just try to find on amazon a scalloped pair of 18 millimeter pink and shears and i will post the link to where I got mine for $12.99 from Amazon down below. Hopefully I remember, if not, then just let me know in the comments. But yeah, you wanna get a pair of pink and sheer scissors and that will give you that scalloped look, that wavy look of lace, which makes it a lot more undetectable when wearing instead of a blunt cut. Now what I'm doing here is just using my foaming mousse just to brush the hairline back. It's not going to hold it down. It's just basically going to straighten it out.
Okay, now this to me is like a really decent length. I like the length of this. This is my first wig, 16 inches. It's definitely easier to wear when it's not so long. I just like like an average length girl. I don't really want it too long sometimes. It all depends on the mood I'm in. But if I was to wear it every single day, like an everyday wig, you know what I'm saying? Then I would definitely prefer it to be like this length right here, okay? Like they really give you a nice decent amount of hair with extra lengthage, okay? I'm just saying. I'm not complaining because I like this length. You know, you have your work wig, you got your going out wig, you got your workout wig. Wig, you know what I'm saying? If it was like my work wig and I wore it like five days out of seven, I would definitely prefer it to be this length. And what did I tell you about the 13 by four? This is where I stop all my parts at. I just don't like my part too far back. Four inches, 13 by four inches is perfect for me. So y'all see this hairline though? I'm just saying, okay, girl, like, look, all right. This is what you call melted hairline. You ain't got to do nothing. Do it like it's your bidet, okay? Do it like you grown in sex, say, all right? Do it like you born a sleigh, okay? I'm just saying, like, this is this is what it's all about. The scissors that I were using were my pink and shears. So these are pink and shears. Um, these you can get off of Amazon. I had another set of these too, but I used to use these like a long, 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 long time ago when cutting the lace of my wigs. And the reason why I brought them out this time is because there are wigs that are already pre-cut for you. However, they're only using pink and shears to cut the lace just to give it like that scallop look or that edged look that's what it's giving it so these ones right here they do tell you on the scissor what size it is and the cutting frame of it i used the scallop edge which was more of like a soft rounded perforated cut versus the other edges um what are these ones the serrated edges the serrated edges are like basically looks like little triangles but these are what they use to cut the um the lace when you buy like a pre-cut lace so if you're going for that look it's really great to have like a pair of pink and shears you can get these anywhere walmart the craft store amazon they are a little bit bulkier and bigger because of the serrated edges that they have so that's just one thing that you have to just deal with but if you could cut the lace before you put it on then you will get like a perfect exact cut versus what i had to do is wear the wig and then cut it the wig is perfect i like the density this is yakky baby okay do it like it's your be day okay do it like you're born to slay okay Check the information box out down below for all of my first wigs. Wigs, I love you guys. Make sure you rate, comment, subscribe, thumbs the video up. Girl, my mouth is dry, dry. Okay, hold on. Perfect. Out the box, ready to wear. I'm saying, girl, listen. Make sure you check the information box for all of the information, the description box for all the information for my first wigs. You know what I'm saying? Check out their 13 by 4s because they are more affordable than a 13 by 6 in case you guys didn't want to know. I just wanted to put that out there because I was asked. I love you guys. Stay deep and delicious, and I'll see y'all in the comments. Go, go, go.